Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Sean Simons. I haven't eaten since last year. This is my friend Brian. What's up? All the way from Oklahoma, hanging out with me this week, and we've come up with some really interesting things, including since I am still not eating, but I have done bone broth, which, you know, it's a lot of calories in bone broth. I was thinking, why don't I take the chance? Just go out and do it and go to the gym. And over the next whatever amount of time I have left on this 100 days of fasting, I can still fast with using bone broth calorie to get to the gym, run the mountain, which I love to do, right. go to the gym and pump some iron. So at the end of this 100 days, I look amazing. Now also on the same note, every meal that I skip, I'm still giving to the homeless and I still am volunteering for to my church and other uh, organizations. Matter of fact, yesterday, out of our pockets, we gave money to homeless. We didn't film it because, you know, we're just driving around, oh, here's a buck, yeah, here's two bucks, here's five bucks, whatever. And then we were trying to talk about it. It's like, so how do you feel, how, how do you feel after you gave your heart and money to someone that you don't know if they are scammers or they really need it. I mean how did you really feel about giving your hard-earned money away I mean honestly come on I mean I don't want to be honest about that <laughs> well I mean you know wh what do you think how many people out I, there I, I think those people are scammers yes all of them there may be a few out there and the criteria has to be very specific but most of those people out there you know uh, 20 something year old guy and gal we saw, fat, we saw we saw again fat and well fed we and saw again clothes. right mm -hmm. they're just pretending to look scrubby but it's not happening they have the same sign about going somewhere uh you know i've seen this at my house you know family of five da 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 husband is sick then it's family of seven you know and i'm like well, this lady's family and situation changes every week <laughs> you know right and they just go to walmart to walmart you know but did you feel good that you gave not under those circumstances, no. Do you? But, I, but I you? But you don't know for sure. So it's very, it's very possible that that money that you gave. I'll went... put it this way: I have, I have always been broke, and I'm 40 years old. I have some health issues, and I go scrub toilets for a living. So I don't have much sympathy. I get up, I go to work, and I scrub toilets. Pretty much the lowest job you can get. I go work. I could go beg, probably make more. Right. Grow this beard out, look like a piece of crap, and come up with a sob story. But I. I could do drugs, I could drink, but I don't. I right. choose not to. I go work because it's my responsibility to take care of myself and my family. These people choose not to work. I, I don't think that they're looking for a job in an honest way. I think they're just saying that because that's the best line to get money. Go get a job. Anybody will hire you at McDonald's. The McDonald's, Burger King, they'll hire you. Mm -hmm. It sucks, it doesn't pay much. You probably make more begging, but go work. That's right. the right thing to do. That's just how I feel about it. Right, and I think I think that's what a we lot of people feel. We give in different ways. We do the Christmas shoe boxes. We do the John three sixteen. We do you know stuff like that, and we are charitable. Uh huh. Uh, but we do it in venues that are, you know, where I know I'm not giving them money. We're we're providing things and and through organizations and stuff like that. So how about as far as like making sandwiches and putting some chips in a bag and handing that out? Would if that that's make, what would, you want to do. Would that, I mean, would that make you feel better that you know that you're not giving away your hard-earned money, but you're... All these people ain't even hungry, man. They want cash. And I've heard story after story of people taking the food and going, I don't effing want that. Give me money. Uh, so really? If that were to happen to me, uh, yeah. So I said, it's not that I don't have sympathy or a heart. And if someone meets a certain criteria, I'll even put it this way. I know you got to make your video short, but... Uh, there was this really old, like, she looked like she was like 99 years old, I and mean, she was super old. Right. And obviously, I'm going to give to that lady, but then I noticed a few other times, there was a guy standing behind the sign that she was standing in front of. Uh -huh. They were pimping her out for for money, like, for for uh, for begging. There was a guy, a No way. Was there, it, was, did you see it on the, on the internet? Is no, there a YouTube this was video in or? Tulsa, in my, in my, where I live. This is where I live. Uh, they, they, they have a network of people that hustle people that definitely could collect the money because you know they're not going to go get it. I wouldn't ask a 90 year old to go get a job. Right. You know, uh, 
So, so how did you know this? Was it on the news or, or how did you actually no, find I out about it? I saw it. I saw it. I've seen it numerous times. The same pair, uh, the how, same people. How did you know that they, that they were actually pimping? I mean, I, I, is it I'm an making, assumption? Well, it, it's a pretty damn good educated guess. Gotcha. Okay. I, I'm not going to, you know, that's pretty obvious to me. So I guess we need to ask the, uh, our viewers, have you heard of anything like that where, where people pimp out older people to beg on the streets? I've had the same little guy come and uh, we were at a restaurant one day. He's like, hey man, you know, blah, 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 cars down the street, no gas, you know, that story. Uh -huh. We all have heard that one. And then two or three weeks later, I see him again and I see him again. This guy never has gas in his car, but he's always got money. So, Interesting. And he's in a suit, you know, I just, they, 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 they're very good at scamming people. So, yeah, I gotcha. think most of it's a scam or they're on drugs and alcohol, you know. That was their choice. I, I'm sorry. I, I scrub toilets for a living, I scrape by myself. I do what I can, where I can, where I feel like it's legitimate. And if they want to be out on the street, to me, it's a choice. Gotcha. I, so I, much help. There's a church on every corner. Most of them will help you. Shelters. You can get cleaned up and get a cheap job and level yourself up. Mm -hmm. But when you're on drugs and alcohol, you know, I, I, yeah, I could see you being on the street. But I could do that, too. I could go buy Jack Daniels anytime I want and get drunk, you know, uh, and stay drunk and drown my problems away. And, hate my life for being a janitor, but I don't. And I'm tempted to sometimes because I get depressed. Right. But I don't. I choose not to do that. I don't expect other people to feel sorry for me if I wreck my own life. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just how I am. Well, what do you think, guys? Uh, you think most people scam? You think people pimp out old people for, for, for money? Do you think that this really happens? Do you think that there's more people on the street that scam than not? Leave us some comments down below. I'd really like to hear what you think. And once again, we appreciate you watching our videos. We know that you have so much other things to do in life than watch my videos, so I would totally appreciate that. Uh, subscribe and share, and we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll talk more about water fasting and helping the homeless. See ya. Later. Where'd the puppy go? Hey, what's up, puppers? We love you. We love you, buddy.